Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I think you all are familiar with this web page, today we will learn how to make this web page completely responsive. So if you haven't made it yet, there is link in i button. And also you can find it on my YouTube channel homepage. And in popular uploads. You can download image from this video description, and also you can get free source code from this video description as well. So, as you can see both responsive and normal website look same at this moment. Now press, Ctrl plus Shift plus I button at same time, to open this inspect option, do this on both side. And now to see the difference, just resize the screen. So an original website you can see that it is not responsive at all. It looks very bad at small screen. Let's check on different device screen, it looks very bad. So come to responsive one, which I had just modified, when you change the size of the screen, it changes to perfect size, it looks very user friendly, you can see everything is getting on right place when reduced in small size. And let's check on different device sizes as well. It looks good on Pixel 2. Also looks good on iPhone 6, 7, 8. Let's check on iPad, here also it looks perfect. Next, Surface, Duo, more better. And last one for Nest Hub, it looks perfect in here as well. So, now open a VS code. These are all old code or original code that we have wrote earlier, so, to make it responsive, we need to add some code in CSS file. It is much more difficult than actually making website, we need good knowledge on CSS. Now write, at media screen. And add a maximum width. Equals to 1200 pixels. So this is for normal screen size. So, first of all let's open this web page on browser. And you can see that it isn't responsive, and is complete mess right now. So now come to CSS side. Work for class navbar. Then write width equals 100%. And next height equals 100 pixels. So you can see some difference on screen. Now work for unordered list tag. Give margin left equals to 30 pixels. Then, unordered list, list tag. Give margin left 60 pixels. Now work for unordered list, list, anchor tag. Give font size equals to 1.6 VW, that is viewport width. Now save it and refresh your page, you will see some difference on navbar. Now work for class search. Give margin top equals to 3 pixels. And margin left equals to 290 pixels. You can see it is in perfect place now. Now we will reduce size of it, little bit. For that work for class SRCH. Give height equals to 40 pixels. Give width equals to 190 pixels. Give font size equals to 14 pixels. It is looking bit smaller. Now we will change the button size. For that, write class BTN. Give height equals to 40 pixels and height equals to 80 pixels. So now we will work for description part. For that, write class content, then give width equals to 100%. And write another class content with h1 tag comma, class content with span. Now give a font size equals to 4.5 VW. Give another class content with class par, that is paragraph. Give a width equals to 90%. And font size equals to 1.5 VW. Now for button, write class content class CN. Then give width of 13%. 
and height equals to 3.5 VW. And also font size of 1.8 VW. So after refreshing, you can see that our description are also changing sizes according to screen resolution, and it is being responsive. So let me show you more clearly what it looks like from main screen when we change the size of screen. So here you can see it content and paragraph are changing its size and width according to screen ratio. So now come back to inspect option again for easy view. And come to CSS and work for class, content, anchor tag. And give a font size of 1.6 VW. Now after doing this, we will be working on the other at media screen. That has maximum width of 1170 pixels. And this is for login box only. So as you can see, our login box stays on right side, where there is no place for it. And it get cuts in half, and we can't do login there. So come back to CSS and work for class. Main. So this class main includes all the HTML body part. Now give a padding left of 20 pixels. And also give a height equals to 180 VH, that is viewport height. So when you refresh page, you can see, when we come below 1170 pixels, our page has 180% of height, now we will put our login box, down in there, so we will have no problem in login. Let me show you from normal screen size as well, when you reduce its size, you can see there is big space in bottom, where we will add our login box now. Now come back to CSS. Come to top right corner, and do a split screen or split editor. So after you done that, come up to class form. Then copy class form. Paste that on left side. And also copy class form input. And paste it on left side, just like I did. After you have done this, you can close split editor. Now we will do some change in class form on top. Make it for 20 pixels and on left. Make it 50 pixels. Now when you reload page, you will see our login box on bottom of our screen. So you can see that, when it comes below 1170 pixels, it directly goes down in free space. Now we will add some margin left, to make it align properly. That is add. Minus 30 pixels. So as you can see button sizes, and its font size are also decreasing. So for that, work for. Class BTNN, anchor tag. Write font size equals to 16 pixels. And also work for class form, class link, anchor tag. Give font size equals to 16 pixels as well. Now we will work for it media screen with maximum width of 830 pixels. So this one is for tablet screen size. Write class content with margin top equals to 0.120 pixels and width of 80%, and also give margin left of 40 pixels. You can see some difference here. Now work for class content with H1 tag, and class content with span. Give font size of 6VW, and now for class content with class PAR. Give width equals to 90%. And font size equals to 1.8 VW. Now for class content with class CN, that is for button. Give a width of 15% and height equals to 4.5 VW. And also font size of 2 VW. Now for class content anchor tag, give font size of 2 VW. Now when you refresh your page, you will see some difference on your content. Now work for class logo. We want our logo to move on middle, so for that, give some margin left of 240 pixels. And width of 100%. Margin top of 15 pixels, and font size be 5 VW. So when you come below 830 pixels, you will see that our logo have moved on middle. Now we move this navbar below our logo. Now come to CSS, work for class menu. 
Give a width equals to 100%. Now work for UL. Give margin top of minus 5 pixels and margin left of 5 pixels. Here you can see our navbar have moved downward. Now work for all list. Tag give margin left equals to 60 pixels and also for all Lee anchor tag. Give font size equals to 2VW. Save it and reload your page. You will see major difference now. It has come to perfect place now. Now we want to move this search box on right place. For that come to CSS end. Work for class search. Give a margin top of minus 20 pixels. And give a margin left of 60 pixels. OK as you can see it is on right place now. And now we will reduce its size a little bit. For that right, class SRCH. And give a height of 30 pixels. And width of 160 pixels. And also give font size of 12 pixels. Now for button, right class BTN. Give a height of 30 pixels. And for width, give 70 pixels. Save it reload your page, you will see perfect navbar now. Now just copy everything from at media screen of max width 1170 pixels. Copy all from class main to bottom. And paste it down here below our class BTN. So now let's reload our page and see what we done up to now. I think it's looking pretty cool up to now, but it is still not good looking for small sizes. So now work for it media screen with a maximum width. 600 pixels, and this one is for iPad screen and little bit lesser than that. Now write class content, give margin top of 80 pixels. And also give margin left 20 pixels. Now work for class search. Give margin top equals to dash 40 pixels. And margin left be 42 pixels. Now work for class logo. Give margin left of 180 pixels. And font size be 4VW. Save it and reload your page. You can see when we go below 600 pixels, it automatically changes its sizes and also become responsive. We need to add some margin on our navbar. So for that, write all. Give a margin top of minus 25 pixels. And also add some margin left equals to dash 5 pixels. Now work for all, list tag. Give margin left of 50 pixels. And also work for all, Lee, anchor tag. Give font size of 2VW. So as you can see it has already become mostly responsive but still we haven't done for mobile screen. Now for mobile screen. Write at media screen with maximum width of 450 pixels. So last one for our mobile screen. You can take it up to 370 pixels, not less than that. Now work for class logo. Give some margin left of 140 pixels. And font size be 4VW, and now work for all. Give margin top of minus 25 pixels. Now work for all, list tag. Give margin left of 42 pixels. Now work for all, Lee, anchor tag. Give a font size of 2VW. Web page is looking responsive but. Our search box is not at right place, so for that, come to CSS. Work for class, search. Give margin top of minus 40 pixels. And also give. Margin left equals to 38 pixels. So this much for coding now let's preview our work on different devices. And give a thumbs up cause I have done very hard work on this. As I have already said, making responsive website with pure CSS is more harder than making simple website. Cause it need more knowledge on CSS. So I hope you all understand this video. And if you have a question regarding this video, an original not responsive one. You can frequently ask me through comment section, and also you can ask on my Facebook group which link is given in description. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for my 11k plus subscribing, let's make it 20k faster. So that's all for today, bye and see you all on next video.